Hello people, welcome to Bedaf Farms Academy and my name is Kennedy, a US Navy veteran and also a poultry farmer. I just always want to thank you and always I just want to say I really appreciate for the support and for the encouragement that you guys give it to me. Uh, that makes me to push a lot to give you the information that you need out there and also to know what kind of businesses that you have to invest in it. And I say really, I really, really appreciate that and I support you for that thank you so much as always say i'm a u.s navy veteran and also a poultry farmer so today i'm also here to talk to you about something that you really need and uh, i've been receiving calls and uh, uh, some people have been asking me i think i've done a video about it but wasn't very uh, clear on it so today i want to just talk about it and uh, explain more to you last in my last video i talked about some of the uh uh, uh some of the uh, businesses that you can enter in Ga in ghana and in africa as a whole because africa is the next country in technology i don't mean technology like we are the country of in uh, the uh, what is the name we are the continent of investing and uh, it make it creating new technology in inventing new technology that's not the point the point when you do research we are the next continent that a lot of people are getting in touch of phones network technology and the people are using and exposing them to the things in the world that's why we say african is the next technological continent that's why you can see a lot of chinese coming in there a lot of uh, countries coming in there to grab the opportunity that's why and uh, if you do more research you may find out i'm more into business management and also aviation that's why i like business and i like investment so thank you so much today let's talk about something that i want us to discuss very very short video i'm not going to keep long really here what are what are the type of bears that i'm supposed to start with on what day old chick do I need to start? Or what breeze of bed do I need? Because there is a lot of a lot of questions that people come to you. What breeze are better? What type of day old chicks are better? So today I want to talk to you. If you want to start a poultry farm in Africa, being Uganda, being Ghana, being Nigeria, being Zim, uh, Zimbabwe, being Kenya, being Ethiopia, there are many, many bears that are out there. But which ones are very good for the environment that you're going to raise them? I didn't say the which one is very good, maybe for uh, whatever you maybe you are thinking, but which one is very good for the environment that you're going to raise them? So today I've listed uh, some bears that I myself have raised some of them. And as you know, I'm a DO chick importer. I import DO chicks from uh, Belgium and Netherlands. But for right now, Netherlands is there is a ban on Netherlands because of the uh, avian flu. There is a disease, if you don't know, there is a disease going out there since last two months. So Ghana has banned them not to import bears to Ghana for now, up, up to now. But unless maybe going forward, they will take the ban off. So most of the bears is Belgium. So I import bears from Belgium and in the Netherlands, but now it's Belgium that I import bears to Ghana. And I sell them too as an agent, but I'm not mostly into that as compared to the uh, poultry business and other businesses. As I told you last time, I'm a pig farmer too. So let's talk about the things that, that uh, the, the bears that mostly that come in the in our climate that support our climate very very some of the best we have some of them like the uh, austral australop when you say the australop the black bears that you have always been seeing the best which are so at times you see their feathers are black in the poultry cages you see some of them their best their feathers are black they are the ones that we call the australop their origin they are from australia the bed is tough where they were being uh let's say invented is australia and let's talk about the low man low man is also the brown i know most people know about low man low man is a brown color one and low man have the what's the name they have the brown nature some of them are also white but mostly they are the parent uh, parent stock so the low man also have the uh they also originated from germany that's where they are where that's where the origin is from germany the next one is a white longhorn the most of the white ones that you see so the white ones they are also the white leg leg horn that's why they call them the small ones that you see most of the white ones they call the uh the white leg horn and mostly where they are also originated from is italy it's Italy and we have the Isa layer people call Isa layer or Isa layer and they are also from France I just want to make the video very very short and I will discuss all these things with you and the next one is the Highland the Highland is also from USA 
US, United States. That's where they are also from. And the Novogen are also from France. So now, let's come to them one by one and see why people prefer others than others. The Australope is from uh, Australia, as I've already said. And when you compare them by their nature of laying, they can lay 250 to about 300 eggs a year. So they are very good animals. And when you talk about their climate, they can adapt to the weather in Africa. Let's say they, they are tropical weather nature. They can adapt the heat and everything. They are very strong animals. Later on, I'll tell you the best food that I go for. I don't tell you. I'm not telling you to go for it or imposing, on, imposing it on you. But that is what I go for mostly. And the next one, the low man, is from Germany. As I've already told you, the brown one. They are a little bit, they are like the good nature brown. They are very shiny brown. As compared to Isa layer, the Isa layer is very dark brown. When you see their, uh, when they are there, you can see a little bit dark on their on their feathers. But the low man is a little bit golden. You can see really shiny. So the low man can lay about 300 to 350 eggs uh, ex a year. And when you go to the uh, white leg horn, the Italy one, the white one, they really lay eggs. Let, let me see. Let's talk about this. When you see the leg, uh, the, 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 what's the name? The low man, the Aisha lay, or the one that laid the, uh, the brown eggs. The one that laid the white eggs, that is a leg horn. The leg horn has something. They lay more eggs, but here's the thing. They have consistency. Like, they, con they are not bears that can decline today, tomorrow increase. Not as compared to the brown bears, the brown ones. They can lay today, tomorrow they will be decreasing. So they can have, have that kind of uh, mixture in them. But when you come to the white ones, they are very consistent. They can lay like, let's say if it's 30 crates a day, they can cool, continue the same way, the same nature. Because they are mostly and they are basically rare for eggs. Or how they invented them was for eggs. So if you're going for the white ones, they are really for eggs. But in Africa, most people don't like the white ones. Why? I've explained in one of my videos before, but let me just tell you. Because most people think because of traditional stuff, or they use it for caching and other stuff. That's mostly primitive ideas. So, but the white ones are really for eggs. Let me make it very simple one for you. The Isa layer, the same thing. They lay about 300 to 350 eggs a year. The Highland, the USA one, the same thing. No virgin, the France one. But the best three that a lot of people ask in Africa or in Africa, the Novogen, the Aisha layer, the Loman. These three, these three, Loman, Novogen, Aisha layer. These are the three that people a lot use in Africa. Why? Because the adaptability to the weather in our area is very, very nice and is very, very good. So these three bears, Aisha layer, Loman, and uh, Novogen, they are very bears. They are very, very good bears. But the question is, can I have a low man bears as a loka in Ghana? Yes. Because all these things that I mentioned, all these breeds, low man, Aisha Leia, they are companies that they rear bears as stock parents. And they produce eggs for hatcheries. They produce eggs for hatch companies, for hatchery companies. So the hatch company can be in Ghana and be lay and be hatching Aisha Leia eggs. The hatchery company can be in, let's say, Germany and be hatching a hairline which is a USA X. So at times, it doesn't matter if it's from Ghana, it's from here, or it's from there. It can be an, a breed, but the eggs is an Asia layer egg. So that is what you need to know. So the best that me, as a, as a farmer, have been always been using is Asia layer and Loman. Novo Jeans started come to the, coming to the market not long ago, but it's very good too. But what I've been using is Loman and uh, I say layer. So I say layer. So if any of the bears, if you get any of them, any of the three bears, a breeze is very nice for you people. So because of excuse me, because of this question that I've been receiving, this kind of bears, where should I receive from where the country? But let's note, America does not export dairy chicks to Ghana or Africa. They don't. They don't. They only export to their own. Uh, they only import in the country or send it to different states like from new york to maybe maryland from maryland to virginia that's what they do but most of our best that we buy right now is from europe and most of the countries in europe which export best or they owe checks to ghana is into africa mostly it's belgium or 
uh, Netherlands and France. But right now, as we are talking, Belgium is on top of it. Belgium is the highest country that import. So if you're also looking, I am myself an importer, but if you're looking into importing of the old chicks, Belgium will also be for you. But you go there and you have to be with some quantity before you can also import. So if you are trying to look into that business to think about it and also how many quantity you want to start with and the customers you want to give to. I just want to make this video very short and these are the breeds that I want to recommend for you. So the best trade that I recommend, we have the bovans that I do not talk about the bovans or the rest of them. So we have the Isa layer the low man and the novo gene these three bears i will let you look into them any of them they are good the highland i'm not saying they are not good they are good but the three that i've used the two that i've used is the uh what is the name is the actually and the Loman. the novo gene is also recommended mostly the highlands and the bovans all of them are very good but if you ask me as a farmer these are the three these are the two, two, uh, two of views and it's very very important thank you so much and i will say chase your dream and money will follow you peace and shalom